Today I'm going to fussy cut this fabric to make towel toppers. This is my favorite pattern for the towel toppers. And I've added the link for this pattern down in the description. This is a free pattern. And I have my video here where I show you why this is my favorite and the modification I did here for the tab. Now, in order to fussy cut your fabric, you have to look at your fabric and determine where you're going to cut. And if you have a pattern that is repetitive like this one, if there is a section of your fabric that is the best section for you to fussy cut so that you don't waste too much fabric because fussy cutting or any type of fabric that is directional or stripes or anything like that, you always need more fabric and you want to use your fabric the best way possible, right? To the least amount of waste. So say I want this Mickey, I will place my pattern there and trace my pattern around the fabric as long as my Mickey is in the center. But as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell where Mickey is because this is freezer paper, which is my preferred method of tracing patterns on cotton fabric, especially. And I have a video here that I show you how to use freezer paper to cut your fabric. But you know, in this case, as much as I like it, it's not the best. I mean, I can see it, but it's not the best. So what we're going to do in this case is that we're going to trace our pattern on these um, little mats that you find at the dollar store and easily see where our design is in the pattern to fussy cut it. So you'll need some tape and a permanent marker. And the tape is so that you can kind of place your pattern on the mat and it won't slide as you're tracing it. And of course, you don't want to waste too much of your mat either. So I'm going to just place it right here along this corner. Now we're just carefully going to trace it. Then all you need is regular scissors and cut the pattern. It is very thin material, so it's not going to be hard to cut. Here is my template, my pattern. Consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel if you have learned something today. So I have Mickey here and see how easy it is. I can clearly see where Mickey is and I can make sure it's down the center and, and you can even be more exact and measure the middle point here of this uh, bottom part of your kitchen towel topper pattern. Mark your seam allowance to make sure that it's right down the center if that's what you want and then simply place it on top of your fabric and it will work. So let's go ahead and now trace all of our fabric and fussy cut our fabric to make the kitchen towel tappers. I am going to just trace it on the right side of the fabric. Usually you wanna trace it on the back side of the fabric, but in this case, we're going to do the front just to make sure that our design is right where we want it to be. And I have some um, erasable marker here. And I have these washers <laughs> that I buy at the hardware store. And these washers really help keep the pattern in place. It's just another, another tip. Carefully, because you don't want your pattern to slide. Because this material, because it's, um, it's a plastic, it will easily slide. Carefully, you're going to first, I like to trace it first before I cut it. Now I 
have my electric scissors you can use your regular scissors your regular fabric scissors however you want to do this it's fine but since it's already traced you would not have an issue with this moving around or not cutting in the right place And now we simply are going to do the same with the other two pieces of fabric that I have. So let's put the washers here. And this time I'm using this white ink pen. Same thing, it is a washable, erasable pen. But I need it to be I need to be able to see after I trace it. So if I use another color, it's just not going to be a good contrasting color for this deep blue fabric. When you're tracing with this type of pen, at first it looks like it's not tracing anything, but you just give it a second and you will see the ink. It will be, once the ink dries, you will be able to clearly see the white ink. See, right there. So don't, if you're using this type of pen and I have the link down in the description and you think it's not working, it is working. You just need to trace it. And as soon as it dries, it takes a second, you'll be able to see the lines, no problem. And finally, I'm going to cut the fabric here with Sesame Street. There it is. All my three uh, pieces of fabric and they're perfectly centered. And this is how it looks. Look how cute these towel toppers are with the image right down the center. So fussy cutting really, really is a great way to getting your final product to look exactly the way you want. I really hope this video helped you. And there are more videos like this one, so go check them out here. Okay, you guys, see you in the next video. Ciao.